When turning an inverter on or off, there is an important process to follow. To shut down an inverter that is currently active, first of all, you want to go for the AC isolator, and this usually has a red handle. Second of all, you want to isolate the solar panels and they come in form of a DC isolator. Now, some inverters have got a DC isolator on the side and some of them may have separate isolators. Now, these ones usually have black handles on them, but you can also just check that they are labeled and it says DC isolator on it. Now, here I have two DC isolators because I have two strings. If you have one string or if you have multiple strings, then you may see a different number of DC isolators. But always check on the side of the inverter as well. If you've got that one, then that will isolate all of the solar panels. So let's take string one down, string two, and also on the side of the inverter, just for, to be safe. Last of all, if you've got battery storage, then you will also need to isolate these. Now you may have multiple batteries that have all got their own switches on them, or you may have one battery system that has one master switch. In this case, I've got a Fox ESS system and it has a master unit on top and that has a breaker on the side, which we open and turn it off. Now the system is fully de-energized and very shortly we will see the inverter go off. So it will take a few moments to go off Usually within 30 seconds, the inverter will switch off entirely. To start the system back up again, it's the reverse process. First of all, we start with the batteries, turning them on one by one or the main switch. Second of all, we turn on the solar with the main DC isolator. So again, that may be on the side of the inverter. Sometimes it's on the underside of the inverter and you may also have your own DC isolators. Once they're connected, then you can go to the red AC isolator handle and turn that on. That has now energized the system. The inverter will take around about three minutes to synchronize with the grid before it then starts to generate and export energy.